Right. So I think in terms of our breaking down the numbers, um, the, the big the big issue right now, I think, or, or one of the big concerns is, is this issue of like the testing leads that we're seeing. Um, and so so what's happening is that COVID tests, uh, you can get your results back in like a range of time. Some results you can get in as short as maybe an hour and others, uh, you, it, it takes like 24, 48 hours. So if you go to get tested, most likely it'll take you like 48 hours to get your positive, to get your results back essentially. So you could think of it like you get tested on a Monday and you get your results back on Tuesday and say the lab at that point in time reports those results, say you tested positive. So the, the, the lab would have would report the results on Tuesday to the Ministry of Health. And on the Wednesday, the Ministry of Health would then report in the last 24 hours we received and your test results would, would be part of that, uh, would be part of that uh, figure that's reported. Now you would have gone for your test on Monday, right? So that's why you have this sort of a, a, a delay that's mentioned essentially that gives the range in which these test results come back. So as I said, some test results you get in 24 hours. So if you went in to, to get a test result, say you went to a lab that gave a result in 24 hours on Tuesday, then your the person that went on a Tuesday in a 24 hour lab versus the person that went on Monday in a a 48 hour lab or something, you know, all of those get reported on like Wednesday, see, right? So, so this reporting delay more or less gives an indication of how, uh, what, what, the, what, the, what the delay is like in terms of getting test results back. And with the, with the latest results we saw, it was I think five days or so. So you're seeing that be the time it takes to get a positive result back or to know your status as it will is increasing. And, and this is something that we've seen before uh, last year in August um september i think the largest uh, that's ever been recorded to date has been like 15 days which was somewhere around the uh, september the 18th i think it was right so what it's telling us now is that there's an increase in the demand for tests and as a result we are seeing this sort of an increase in the delays in the test results i should point out too that um most other countries have this problem um, it's just that you know, you don't hear about it. So, for instance, like in the rest of the Caribbean, you don't where you, you see the results and you know it's reported in a 24-hour period, just as the ministry does. But the the fine print in terms of how long those tests are isn't um, you know isn't made known. Certainly in the Caribbean, for instance, you don't see that, right? And they have the same sort of problems that everybody else that, that we have at least in terms of how long it takes to get test results back. 